Owners and their fosters gather at the Diggity Dog Service Dogs facility in Shelburne Falls to meet with Supervisor Sarah Meekle and for training time. The dogs learn to turn off and on lights, find lost keys, and alert their owner if a phone or doorbell is ringing. Trainers use this device to notify the dog they have completed a good behavior. Then a dog gets a treat associating the two behaviors. I just wanted to create an organization that was providing dogs to people that weren't otherwise able to get them. After the dogs graduate, they will help people who suffer from psychiatric illnesses. Other organizations will not provide psychiatric service dogs for anyone other than veterans. There are 12 undergraduates, two graduates, and one postgraduate student fostering full-time on the UMass campus. However, there are several relief fosters, including faculty, that foster the dogs as needed. Freshman Trevor Brown began fostering his service dog, Alfie, in the fall of 2015. These fosters, like, they have such a bond with the dog and, like, just watching them communicate with the dog, whether or not it's verbally or like with the hand signals or even just like looking at them. Mikkel says she hopes to continue this foster program and expand it throughout the five colleges. Julia Economo, Amherst Wire TV, Amherst.